In this video, I'll show you guys how to create a simple budget tracker in Google Sheets to monitor your expenses and income. This budget tracker is perfect for young adults or anybody in general that just want to manage their finances better. Don't worry if you are new to spreadsheet, you don't need any power experience with Google Sheets or Excel. I will guide you through the process in just 5 minutes and you can also follow along if you are using Excel too since both programs work similarly. If you find the video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. So let's get into it right now. So open Google Sheets, go to your browser and type sheets.new. I will name this 2025 budget tracker. Then I'll also enter 2025 budget tracker right here. Then I'll come to the beginning of the text and then on my keyboard, I'll hold down the Windows key and dots. That will bring up this menu where I can enter an emoji. I'll just search for money sign and then pick one. So to make it look professional, I will like the title and make it bigger and bold. Next, I'll type the month that I'm going to be doing this for, which will be January. Again, make it bold and bigger because these two are like the heading of our Google Sheet. So you can always duplicate the sheet later on. So if you want to make it for February, March, April, whatever, you can always have different sheets right here. So you can rename this to whatever month you are doing this for. I will show you how to duplicate the sheet and use it for a different month later on in this video. Next up, I will type the income year and then expenses year. Next, I will select this column and then color code this green. And I also select this column and then color code it red. To indicate money in and out. Also, I will select this column and color it to a lighter green. And these columns to a lighter red. I just come to the right hand side here and type in total income and total expenses. So we can see the total amount in and out. Since you are working with money, let's format these columns as currency. So you select the column and click the dollar sign to format it as currency. If you need a different currency, just go to format, numbers, custom currency, and choose your preferred options. For example, I'll just go with euro right here. And now when I enter a number, it will format it in euro. So you can use your local currency, maybe Naira, rupees, and so on. I'm just going to change this back to dollars. I'll do the same for this column. So when I enter an amount, it's format it into dollars. In this third column, I'm going to create a drop down. I'm going to start categorizing what kind of expenses. So I'll click on insert and then select drop down. So right here, we will start categorizing what kind of expenses we are spending. This way we can categorize our spendings. You can be very specific with your spendings, but I will go with the general way of doing this, which is the 50, 30, 20 rule with category needs, wants, and savings. And some people call it future expenses. Then I will color code them for easier reading. For needs, I will go with um, blue. For ones, maybe pink. And for savings, yellow. So then click on done. So I'll just click on the first and then drag this plus sign down so that the drop down applies to all. So we can start entering our expenses. For example, electricity might cost $200. This is a necessity, so I will categorize it needs. And then we can enter some other expenses and then categorize them. So next, I want to see our total income at this point right here. So we have to do a sum. So to do that, you just have to input some formulas. So I will type equal sign sum and select it. All of our income is in column B, so I will select that and click enter. That will do the sum of all of our income. So if I start entering other values from other sources of income, it will start adding them up. Maybe $1,500 is your paycheck, and then you can earn, maybe you earn $50 from a side hustle. 
So here we have the total income. As you're entering them, it will continue summing them up as your total income. I'm going to do the same for expenses. So type equal sign sum, click on it, and then you want to select column D. Why? Because we are entering all of our expenses in column D. That will add up all of our expenses. I'm just going to make the total income green and expenses red. Now I want to enter my spending goals. As I mentioned earlier, I will go with the general money rule. So I'm setting spending goals for needs, wants, and savings. So I will highlight these three cells and then format them to percentage. So I want to go with the 50, 30, 20 rule, which means 50% on needs, 30% on wants, and 20% on savings. You could have as many goals, as many categories you want. These are just the ones I'm doing right now for this video. So right here, I want to see the monetary value of my set goals so I can know the exact amount I don't want to go above when I'm spending my money. So I'm just going to do some formulas. So right here, I will enter equal sign. Then I will select my total income and then multiply it by the multiplication sign on your keyboard is the asterisk sign. So I'll multiply by, so I'll select 50% and we have the amount. I'm going to do this for the rest. Again, equal sign, select the total income, multiply it by 30%. And lastly, for savings, multiply it by 20%. So I can see the amount I want to spend on needs, wants, and savings depending on my income for that month. Next, I will do actual so i can see the um, actual amount i'm spending based on these categories so we want to do needs wants and savings all right so right here i want to be able to see all of the amount i spent on needs all of the amount i spent on wants and all of the amount i'm saving so we are going to do introduce a new formula called equal sum if so you type in equal sum if so we want to select the category which is column e so if column e is needs so i will type a comma needs in a double quote so to do what what do we want it to sum so column d then click enter i'll just format this to currency so what that does is sum up all of our expenses that are needs so if i start categorizing all of these expenses into needs it will start adding them together and give us a total of all of the money spent on needs so I'll do the same for want. I'm just going to copy it and then paste it right here. Now I will change the needs to want. So when we start adding expenses in these categories, the system adds them up and give us a total based on that category. And I also do the same for savings. So I will change the needs right here to savings. So when we start adding expenses in these categories, the system adds them up and give us a total based on that category. Next up, I want to have a percentage of the amount we are spending on different categories. So I will enter a formula. So I will type in equals to. So we want to get the percentage of money spent on needs. So I will select needs and then divide by. So the division sign is the backward slash on your keyboard so divided by the total income i'll format these cells in percentage and i'll do the same for the rest equal sign select the ones divided by total income again equal sign select savings then divide by total income and now we have the percentage of the amount we are spending on needs wants and savings now I'll just add some adjustments to make this look nice. I'll make this column larger. Then I'll select all of these columns and color code them. Maybe yellow will be better. And you can just make some minor adjustments to make it look good. Maybe make this text bold. Next, I will merge this column. And put this text in the center. I'll do the same for January. And everything is looking good. Now let me show you how these sheets work. 
So I'm going to delete everything I entered. I can duplicate the sheet and make this one February. And you can create March, April, and so on. So let's say your monthly salary is $1,500. And maybe you do some freelance that pays you $300. And your side also pays you about $1,200. So these are all of your income for this particular month. There may be electricity bills cost you about $75. This is a necessity, so I will make it neat. Then gas cost you about $250, which is also neat. Maybe you bought a shoe for $200. This will be in the want category because this is not a necessity. And then you save money to purchase your next TV about $500 savings so this will be savings because you've not purchased the TV yet you are just saving money to buy a TV and maybe food costs you about $800 for the month which is also necessary so all of this other information will automatically be calculated and you can see the percentage of money going to all of the different categories maybe you can create some other data like the difference between goods and actual or a pie chart to see a graphical representation you can do all of that if you know your way around google sheets so that's just the simple way of creating a budget tracker in google sheets i created a template for this budget tracker i also added a yearly outlook of your expenses and income i've already showed you guys how to create the budget tracker in this video but if you find the video a little difficult or time consuming you can just simply download and start using this template that i created for you guys the template is available for those that are community members of the channel so if you want this template you can just join the community members of the channel and download the templates from the community section so that's all for this video you might want to check other videos from the channel my name is victor smith and i'll see you guys in the next one